akan berdoa menurut keyakinan. Uh, berdoa di persilakan. Okay, thank you very much, uh, teman-teman, mahasiswa, dosen dan siapa sahaja yang interesting termasuk Mas Erwin dan lain-lain. Uh, nanti kalau ada yang mau bertanya secara langsung boleh uh, angkat jarinya. Kalau yang mau kirim lewat chat box silahkan. Mau lewat my email pun selalunya silahkan. Karena memang biasanya ramai orang guna email karena mungkin dia depan laptop atau apa. Okey, Pak Bugi uh, Satrio Adi Wibowo, PhD. Uh, famous, uh, saya kata famous lecturer and director in SAU University. Uh, ini orang kepercayaan Pak Rektor. Uh, silahkan. Google. How do you know, Prof? <laughs> Mana tak tahu, because you rector my friends dah lebih 10 tahun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, um, I share my uh, slide yeah. Yeah. by myself. Milang, or... Milang will be to uh, help you to share right now. Okay. Okay, Pak Indah tolong bantu Pak Bugi untuk share screen. Tadi materinya sudah di forward kepada anda. Uh, karena, mm -hmm. Pak Bugi, uh, karena saya nggak bukan host, saya nggak bisa share. Tapi oh, saya mau share. You want, saya bukan want, host. Enggak, kalau Bapak mau share uh, oleh Bapak sendiri, kita akan bagi you sudah. host mana guna, guna apa sudah. Sudah Pak. Oh, sudah Pak Bugi. Okay, okay, okay. I'll try to share my slides by myself. Okay, right. Ah. Okay. Very clear. Design process. Learning outcome. Yes. Uh, but uh, I miss the tumble to make it become a slides performs oh the report in that will be to uh, help you if you need uh, uh just a minute wait uh prof no problem i'm yeah, i'm uh, looking for the tumble yeah no problem the button where is it the button uh. Encik Rozal Free sambil nunggu Encik Bugi, if you ada song of Malaysian singer yang famous tu so boleh hantar dekat Indahmil. Kita nak guna sebagai refreshing. <laughs> prof, prof saya saya dah ada apa um, kurang mendengar lagu segala sekarang. Memang oh, <laughs> kalau okay. orang pertama uh, boleh tak sing terus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, Dr. Budi. Okay, uh, morning everybody. Uh, so first of all, I would like to say thank you for Professor Shafil Reza who uh, give me this opportunity because I can share my knowledge, my uh, experiences according to the mass media and uh, uh, NIS media, yeah, uh, the big team. And also I would like to uh, thank you and my best regards for uh, Mr. Rosala Fahri uh, Johori uh, as a VIP speaker or VIP guest this morning. Thank you very much. I think um, I will learn a lot from you also uh, after my presentation. And also maybe uh, there are some uh, students because uh, they now they are uh, in uh, holiday, so they uh, will not uh, have a new session or new semester yet, yeah, because maybe next week, yeah, so they will start the next semester. Okay, now uh, I want to deliver my messages according to design process because uh, everything. Uh, about design first. If we don't have a good design, I think we cannot make it uh, something uh, innovative. We cannot make it something new, something interesting, something attractive, something um, you know commercial. I think so. If we want to challenge uh, the competition, so we have to prepare design 
first. So we have to know, we have to understand the design process first. And uh, according to my first slides, so uh, you can uh, see that there is uh, learning outcomes. I mean, I uh, got uh, the foundation or the basic of learning outcomes from learning outcomes two and learning outcome four produce entertainment and non-entertainment program and propose the showcase potential business project. Because uh, if we are, uh, you know, um, a participant in the competition, yeah, for example, the commercial industry. So I think we have to uh, think deeply uh, according to the business side. So we cannot ignore the business side, whatever it is. Even though maybe I'm working at the government radio station, but I think it's good for us uh, still think uh, about the business side. A government always, you know, fulfill our needs, okay? Because we use the government money, yeah? Because uh, I think it's not too, complicated, it's not too difficult for us to use government because we are a government radio station. But we uh, still, you know, need the innovative uh, thing that we have to, uh, uh, we have to present, yeah, give a presentation in front of uh, some industries, some commercial uh, institution because we have to sell our spot the yeah, advertisement spot and we have to sell something like ad lips something like uh, many things yeah according to the advertising okay now the agenda is what makes a good design factors affecting design performance the design process one recognition of the problem to be solved the design process two creative phase and the design process three implementation. And I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Zolafari, if we, uh, if I uh, see from the unique angle, because I think uh, you have your own angle, you have your own uh, uh, attention according to the big team. And I try to uh, deliver my messages from the, uh, my own uh, angle. Uh, design process. What's so good about this product? So I'm asking you, if we are talking about this product, so what's so good about this product? I think it depends on the taste, right? So maybe my taste is different with your taste. And um, if we are talking about uh, creativity, so we cannot uh, say that one plus one equivalent with two, no, yeah? I think one plus one uh, can be equivalent with five, six, seven, eight. Uh, it depends on the point of view. It depends on the angle you see, yeah, the, the product or the design, okay? But if we have lots of experiences, I think we can adjust with the commercial market. Yeah, so we know the market target, we know the people we have to face, we know the people taste, yeah, something like that. Okay, what makes good design? Because uh, alternatively, how can we assess these designs? Yeah, year to year, I think uh, Coke, yeah, we know that. And uh, uh, Coke uh, will, you know, have a different or alternative design year by year. What makes a good design fit for purpose, cost effective, successful, iconic, and long lasting? And I think it's very important for us. Fit for purpose means, yeah, if you're, maybe you have to decide uh, which one your market target. So you have to fit for your purpose with your market target, right? And cost effective, it doesn't mean that you have to produce the expensive program. I think uh, we have to um, uh, be uh, proportional, yeah? Uh, it doesn't mean that the expenses program is, you know, the good program. No, uh, 
I cannot say that. Okay, so cost effective is very important. Successful, of, of course. So we have to uh, make it viral. We have to make it popular. Yeah, I think it's challenge for mass media now. If uh, you just you know produce some uh, production, or maybe you just want to broadcast, I think if there is no unique angle, or maybe there is no the interesting side, so I think it's useless. Yeah, if you cannot make it become a viral program and iconic of course after that uh, our market uh, should um, you know have uh, the image yeah or maybe uh, the product in our mind yeah so i think the product or the program can be iconic and long lasting of course so there is a close relationship between fit for purpose, cost effective, successful, iconic, and long-lasting. That's the job it's designed for in the most effective, efficient manner. Factors affecting design performance, cost effective, satisfies service requirements, can be made achievable like this, okay? So I think we have to be realistic person or, okay, for example, I must, uh, as a producer, so I have to be realistic producer. If I want to, make some programs so i have to think that this is realistic or not for me for my team yeah this is achievable or not yeah if it's not achievable i think we have to change the concept or the design yeah you maybe uh, we can have a same interesting program uh, maybe maybe yeah? or for example we don't have lots of money, yeah, okay. So I think we have to explore our creativity, how to produce some programs interesting, but uh, with the uh, our budget, okay? So we can make it, we can make it uh, true. We can uh, achieve the result, yeah? Means achievable. Okay, the design process, a methodology which requires a logical, sequential analysis of the design problem to be solved. Set out a stages which helps us to progressively develop a solution to the problem set. The best solution given the technology available at the time. So I think now the global era and uh, society 5.0, everything is about um, digitalization. So our team, you know, um, should be familiar with the, uh, the, the new system, new technology, the new um, uh, whatever uh, it is according to the IT. Yeah. So because uh, the technology is one of the best solution. Uh, the design process one, recognition of the problem to be solved, brief recognition of problems, the verse so we have to rec uh, recognize the, the problems, means recognition of problems, identification of needs, yeah? So we have to decide uh, what uh, our needs are. Uh, the next step is recognition of situation. And of course, we have to um, understand according to investigation. Research in topic is very important. What exists already? So we have to, something like I say that, if maybe so many programs talk about, okay, variety show, variety show, which, which variety show the uh, people love, okay? So, okay, uh, now there is, a, okay, uh, something like a variety show, talk show, combining with the maybe live music, or maybe there is a magician and blah, 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 blah. I think, so we cannot make it same, yeah? Uh, means we don't have an innovation, innovative, uh, uh, innovative exploration according to our uh, next program, okay? So research in topic, what is, uh, exists already, collation of relevant information, analysis of topic and specification of requirements. The design process to creative phase, yeah? Uh, ideas, generation of realistic ideas to satisfy product design brief and functional requirements. Evaluation, evaluation of ideas against the specification, identification of proposed solution, 
and developing, uh, sorry, developing, sketching, modeling, refining, proposed solution. Okay, I think it's uh, very important. So uh, maybe uh, if uh, there are some uh, students, yeah, my students here, so we have to think about three steps, ideas, evaluation, and developing. After evaluate, evaluate your programs, so you have to develop. Maybe there is a weak uh, part, yeah? So you have to develop, you have to improve to be a strong part uh, in the future, okay? Uh, the design process three, implementation, planning, drawings from which the product can be released, Part list planning sets for realization. I think it's very important. So you have to uh, make a, something like timetable. Yeah. So the day one, day two, day three, maybe the first week, uh, the second weeks, the third weeks until the final uh, weeks. Yeah. For the planning. So you have to set it up fixed. Okay. Manufacture, make the product to design, evaluate in the veil and revisit the original design good designs evolve over time something this so don't be shame if maybe there is a something like uh uh what is it something like proverbs atm yeah atm uh so you can uh, see the last program but you cannot you know uh plagiarize it, but you can make it uh, become a big idea, but you have to innovate it. You have to improve it. You have to make it something new, even though maybe the first idea from the last program, maybe the other producers uh, idea, but it depends on us, yeah? We can improve it. We can make it something new from the last uh, ideas or from the other's ideas. I think that's okay in this commercial industry. The design process, in reality, we produce product which satisfy and immediate need as a customer wants is yesterday. Major innovation in design and manufacture require us to look into new materials, factoring technologies and potential markets to look into the future, something like this. Okay, so I think we have to improve uh, uh, day by day, month by month, year by year. So I think uh, uh, as a producer, uh, for example, I always uh, produce more than a hundred uh, small enterprises program, yeah, UMKM in Indonesia. So we can say UMKM. So, so I have to improve uh, uh, always, yeah, uh, episode by episode, because I think it's, uh, it's uh, boring <laughs> if uh, I think we produce 200 episodes by its same, yeah? So we have to make it something new, uh, maybe from the sources, maybe, yeah? From the uh, interviewee, yeah, the speaker, or maybe from the team, or maybe from the uh, design of uh, something like studio or maybe uh, whatever it is, yeah? So we have to make it a uh, difference. Okay, this is analysis of brace, ergonomics, construction, aesthetic, function, style, equipment, skill, time, strength, cost, sustainability, resources, material, target users, yeah? So we have to think about this, okay? My students, you, you have to uh, remember that. Uh, this are very important. The design process in engineering, we use the design process to provide solution to problems by applying a logical set of stages. In reality, these are usually reduced in length because of previous experiences or knowledge, custom and practice, and what the competition are doing. Okay, so I think everything you know, we cannot ignore our experiences. So many times I told my students that if you got opportunity, so take it, take it for yourself, your for you for your future. Yeah. So don't ever think about money first. So you have to learn from so many people, so many experienced people. You have to get, uh, you have to get so many uh, something like uh, experiences from industry. So don't ever think money uh, uh, now, yeah? 
because experience is very important for your uh, success in the future. Okay, references, Alexander uh, Osterwalder and uh, U.S. Spickner, and you can read uh, my uh, lit uh, literature, yeah, literature. Uh, and uh, I think it's uh, it's very important for you if maybe you want to buy the books uh, uh, according to the references. Okay, uh, that's all my presentation. Thank you very much, uh, Professor yeah, Shafiq yeah. and Mr. Rosa Lafri. And now maybe it's your turn. I'm uh, learning from you after this. Thank you very much. Yeah, you are welcome. I think this welcome, is welcome. the real... Uh, the real uh, Prof nyanyi dulu Baik. dong Prof. Jujurlah padaku bila kau tak lagi cinta. Biarlah aku mencari yang lain. <laughs> Oke <Okay>, deh. Bila. <laughs> Dari clear. Assalamualaikum. Dari clear. Assalamualaikum. Dengan sore. Assalamualaikum. Oke. Okay. Clear. Kita mau pun screen uh, very clear. Niche media. International. Oke. Okay. Okay. So saya ambil. Um, uh, terima kasih Bapak. Uh, Bapak uh, Profesor Saru Reza. Pak Budi. Pak Mugi. Dan uh, sahabat-sahabat semua. Daripada. Um, juga ada sahabat-sahabat saya daripada. Daripada. Justi Samsung oh, dalam ni saya nampak. Okey. Wow. Okey. So um, untuk hari ini saya saya uh, present uh, about niche media and mass media challenges. Uh, there is um, same topic with a uh, poster uh, that uh, organizer uh, give to the Mira. Okey. So the first one uh, the introduction about the the uh, niche media. Okey and mass media first um, niche media um, when uh, uh, and mass media there is uh, two different form of media okay and also they serve different audience and purpose okay kalau mass media ni uh, dia conventional media atau traditional media uh, tv radio magazine uh, surat khabar uh, cinema okay but uh, manakala niche media um, uh, there is a social media whatsapp okay um, facebook youtube instagram tiktoks okay and targeted to specific audience okay um, and then uh, there is the 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 uh, a huge uh, uh, wide uh, uh, types of the uh, niche media blog podcast online forum okay that is in the digital media okay next um before we we, we continue to, to our uh, uh, sharing session today okay uh, there is the, the interesting thing uh, i'm doing the the uh, research tentang uh, device ownership malaysia and indonesia we can look the differences okay the ownership of device Uh, and uh, the, the latest data uh, uh, previous year uh, until February, okay? We can see first from uh, Malaysia, okay? Uh, mobile phone, 98.9%, okay? Mobile phone. Um, and then uh, smartphone, uh, also the same uh, numbers. And then we can uh, can see the... the, the uh, That is the the uh, digital laptop, okay, seventy three percent ownership, um, and the TV, TV, a tablet, okay, device, computer, thirty five, smart home device, nine point one, um, okay, games, okay, sixteen point one. That is the 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 uh, device ownership in Malaysia, and also we can see the difference uh, Indonesia the device ownership okay 96% any kind of mobile phone but for uh, smartphone 
96%. Okay. Also for desktop or laptop, 68%. Uh, okay. And um, smart home device, 8%. Um, games. And the, the latest technology is virtual reality, 5.5% in Indonesia. And Indonesia just 3.5%. 9%. That is uh, Indonesia um, advanced in virtual reality right now. There is interesting uh, facts we, we can uh, they, they, they show to, to us. Okay, that is uh, for the device ownership. Okay, for the previous year. Okay, now Malaysia daily time media, uh, consume media or spend with media. It is Malaysia and also for Indonesia. We, we can see the differences. Okay, in Malaysia, uh, we spend <laughs> we spend uh, uh, time internet nine hours, ten minute a day. Okay, nine hour, ten minute a day. Uh, also, we we spend um, uh, time to watching television three hours and eighty minutes. Okay, and reading uh, magazine book magazine book online or uh, the, the 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 copy apa, the hard copy uh, magazine or newspaper one hour thirty minutes okay and a radio spend listening radio uh, just fifty five minutes but also we spend uh, listening podcast uh, uh, thirty nine minutes here we can see the the difference between um, niche media and um, mass media. We can see that the TV, radio, magazine, book is a mass media, and then we also can can see the the podcast, okay, um, the social media, okay, uh, music streaming like um, Spotify, okay, and game console, and also in Indonesia we spend in social media three hours, two minutes, okay, and then, okay. We you can see the difference. In Indonesia, uh, they spend uh, time using internet eight hours, 39, 30, 36 minutes, okay? And then watching television, two hours, 50 minutes, social uh, media, three hours, 17 minutes, reading, okay, still reading, one hour, 47 minutes, also radio, 37 minutes and podcast 55 minutes. You can see the, the differences. Okay, nine hours, eight hours, two hours in television. Um, Malaysia, three hours in television. Indonesia, two hours in television, but closely to uh, three hours also. Social media is closely. Also, reading is closely. Okay, but uh, radio, radio, okay. In Malaysia, still uh, 55 minutes, and Indonesia, 37 minutes. Because in, in Malaysia, we are we are here, radio, when in traffic jams. <laughs> in the morning session, when we go to uh, uh, our office, uh, go to, uh, to the to works, and after we back to our home at uh, evening, okay? That is the, the time Malaysia uh, here there the radio using the spend time to the listening radio okay okay there is the the background of the uh, how we use the uh, mass media and uh, niche media okay okay uh, what the uh, niche media uh, the definition of niche media uh, mark Gius, uh said that media uh, define niche media is a media that cater to specifics narrow okay Often small audience defined by share interest, lifestyle, or demographic criteria. So um, we use the um, YouTube, the channel in YouTube, uh, uh, because of the, their share, they are the same interest. But berbeza dengan kita menonton TV. Semua orang akan menonton TV pada waktu yang sama kalau kalau news kalau berita berita semua akan tonton berita ataupun uh, drama radio ataupun um, sinetron kami menonton sinetron pada waktu yang sama okay but kalau guna niche media kita boleh skip swipe 
okay uh, like pada uh, apa, uh, medium ataupun channel yang kita suka saja dan lifestyle berbeza uh, isteri isteri saya uh, tengok uh, YouTube channel lain dan jangan masak-masak okay anak saya menonton YouTube uh, gaming Okay, sport gaming. Saya menonton YouTube tengok um, uh, apa ni? Um, Stadun. Ya, Stadun. Ya, something yang related to 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 uh, my interest, like media, uh, isu semasa news, kan? Eh, macam tu. And then um, semua yang dalam satu rumah menon uh, me, apa? Uh, spend time dengan different media. Ya, yeah, different yeah. media. Uh, TV bukan lagi TV bukan lagi smart TV bukan lagi tempat untuk kita uh, uh, bonding. Not bonding. But kita just now uh, in my house dalam rumah tu TV ni tempat untuk kami uh, appreciate dan understanding. Kenapa? Saya kena ada, faham anak saya menonton uh, gaming. Saya tak faham mula. Tapi saya, saya tengok jugalah. Untuk kita nak 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 apa? Nak understand. Okay. Uh, and then sama juga tengok menonton apa yang isteri saya tonton. Rancangan memasak saya pun menonton juga rancangan masak. Macam tu. Sama mereka juga untuk understanding. Itu untuk niche media. Uh, itu untuk satu uh, smart TV. But kalau through device, smartphone, Every everyone have their own channel, their own interest, uh, algorithm yang berbeza. Anak pertama algoritma dia tentang uh, human interest. Anak kedua algoritma tentang sports. Anak ketiga algoritma tentang um, uh, 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 culture, tentang uh, seni, okay, tentang arts macam tu. Okay, so that is the about the niche media. Okay. Okay, uh, example blog, podcast, YouTube channel, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Okay, mass media. Um, Matt Quill said, um, define that the channel of communication that are available to very large number of people and the, that trans transmit information, entertainment, value, and relatively impersonal basis. Okay, and then um. Uh, mass media uh, normally uh, information entertainment value okay that is the the, the common uh, definition for the mass media okay um, but the thing interesting about uh, mass media even the the decline decrease of the uh, audience but uh, mass media still credible okay the content still credible okay because of they they have their own gatekeeper Okay, that is about mass media. Uh, and then Michael said, uh, mass media play a critical role right now because they are shaping public opinions, okay, uh, influencing cultural and norm and values in the country and providing a platform for democratic dis discourse, okay. That is different dengan, dengan Facebook ataupun IG ataupun TikTok yang semua 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 dibenarkan <laughs> semua dibenarkan this there is the personal view not the the real view okay not the the country view okay advantage of the niche media the first one the advantage of the specialization and focus on specific topic of audience so their niche the narrow niche audience narrow audience based on uh, demographic interest lifestyle okay That is that is the special specialization, um, and second one they are more targeted and engage audience. Uh, there uh, reciprocal happen, okay? Engagement happen. Uh, there 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 is uh, feedbacks, okay? There there is feedback because of the. Uh, bila kita kita um, baca Facebook kita akan comment, dia akan reply comment, kita akan akan like, akan kita akan share. There is engagement. Okay, berbanding dengan uh, mass media. Okay, um, and then lower barrier to entry a uh, production cost. Um, semua orang boleh boleh buat produce content sendiri. 
guna cap card, boleh produce video, boleh masuk dekat dalam YouTube, boleh masuk dalam TikTok, boleh masuk dalam Reel, dalam Instagram. So, uh, semua orang boleh produce dia content, boleh produce dia dia own mind, dia own thoughts, okay, dalam uh, uh, niche media. Okay. And advantage for mass media, wide reach and audience penetration. There is uh, about the uh, scope in country scope, not the, 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 the world, but in the country, the region, there is the wide reach audience penetration. Okay. And right now, uh, kalau dah ada kita guna Android box, even kita boleh, saya boleh menonton channel daripada Indonesia. Saya boleh menonton channel daripada seluruh dunia. Okay the wide range of audience penetration tapi bukan semua orang nak menonton lah sebenarnya sebab dia uh, content dikawal oleh oleh uh, inst, uh, oleh um, corporate uh, institution okay second establish brand and reputation because of the um, reputation of a tv tv station or radio station itself or uh, newspaper itself they have their own reputation they own their, have their credibility on their brand and their contents. That, that's why, uh, kalau kita uh, market atau uh, uh, advertise kita punya products ataupun uh, brands dalam um, mass media, there is the established brand and reputation. And also ability to generate significant revenue through advertising and subscription. subscription. Um, Still, they have the advertising in uh, mass media, uh, in paper, TV, and the young uh, making profit. Kalau dekat Malaysia still Astro, sebab dia buy subscription. Okay, Astro dia dia making profit lah. Berbanding dengan um, TV Tiga, uh, TV Sembilan, Media Prima, dia decrease lah dia punya dia punya uh, uh, revenue. Okay because of the the their free channel okay terrestrial free channel uh, so advertising just uh, depend on advertising okay rtm uh, radio tv malaysia their government their government uh, channel there is no 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 impact about the the revenue okay and challenges of the niche media apa apa cabaran kepada Media, media 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 tersasar ni uh, apa ni uh, niche media first uh, smaller audience and reach compared to mass media that that's mean not smaller not smaller audience uh, in in uh, for the channel ataupun kalau youtube satu dunia memang ramai orang tonton youtube tapi dalam youtube itu sendiri ada channel masing-masing bukan semua orang tonton channel mereka okey uh, kalau kalau international youtubers okey Itu memang memang popular, memang uh, dia punya reach sangat tinggi. Tetapi bagaimana pula dengan uh, YouTubers daripada Malaysia, YouTubers daripada Indonesia tidak ramai yang boleh pergi satu dunia. Tetapi saya saya uh, respect, and salute pada uh, Ome TV, ramai Ome TV daripada Indonesia di punya di punya uh, content developer, ramai. Uh, Fakiniki, Fikiniki, berapa orang lagi saya, saya, saya tonton dia bukan hanya popular di, di Indonesia tapi satu dunia itu satu di Malaysia Omi TV tidak tak, tak, belum lagi belum sampai sampai level itu lagi Omi TV okay um, this is can make a difficult generate significant revenue from advertising and sponsorship deal because of they have their their own target uh, dia punya dia punya audience tadi and second difficulty in monetization and revenue generate often have limited resource which can make it challenging to produce high quality content on a consistent basis um ini 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 a uh, uh, challenge pada um, uh, youtuber ataupun facebooker ataupun uh, instagram instagramer okay um, influencer because of they want to to produce everyday content not normally for the for the video content but nak buat content tu perlukan kos yang tinggi kalau tak dia boleh buat content tetapi dia punya quality dia punya consistency tu akan akan berkurang mungkin pada peringkat awal motivation tu tinggi dia akan buat tetapi sebab dia 
one main show ataupun dua tiga orang sahaja yang yang produce dia punya content. Jadi difficult untuk uh, apa ni uh, uh, profit untuk budgeting untuk generate income. And sebenarnya limited resource for produce and distribution. Ini yang bersama lah. Disebabkan specific niche market, niche media outlet, they have limited growth potential. Di, dia disebabkan oleh dia perlukan um, budget yang tinggi untuk lebih lebih berjaya lagi. Okay. And next, um, challenges of mass media. Normally um, saya saya pernah saya mengajar dekat uh, kelas saya tanya uh, bila kali terakhir anda menonton TV semua terdiam. Um, setahun lepas, okay. Saya tanya lagi, bila ni ni untuk pelajar pelajar um, baru umur dua puluh tahun ni, umur dua puluh tahun baru masuk sembilan belas dua puluh baru masuk universiti uh, untuk uh, untuk pelajar matrikulasi di 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 universiti Sabsangu. Bila kali tak akhir kamu uh, baca surat khabar? Itu um, dah lama uh, masa sekolah kebangsaan sekolah rendah peringkat peringkat awal pada umur 12 tahun. Okey, kan tak akhir baca surat khabar. Itu dia pun di sekolah. Jadi ada isu declining of audience, decrease of audience. Um, tidak uh, untuk generasi Z, Y, Z, Alpha mereka tidak familiar dengan dengan mass media. Okey, tidak familiar dengan mass media. Kalau menonton wayang, mereka menonton Netflix ataupun Disney Plus. Okey, kalau dengar radio mereka mendengar uh, podcast. Okey, dari situ. And then yang kedua ialah competition from niche media and user generate content. Mereka ada channel-channel mereka sendiri. Okey, yang ni interesting untuk saya share lepas ni saya ada satu case study saya buat untuk uh, bagaimana trend uh, uh, gen generasi Z menonton uh, apa ni uh, dengan dengan mass media. Okey sebab dia dia ada dia ada mindset yang berbeza daripada kita tentang uh, the concept of TV, the concept of radio, the concept of uh, cinema, the concept of newspaper. Dia ada, dia ada berbeza daripada kita. Okay. Difficult in adapting a new technology and business model. Disebabkan uh, dia adalah conventional media, dia adalah media 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 traditional untuk convert kepada new ataupun new media atau digital media dia perlukan satu satu mekanism uh, cost yang tinggi untuk dia dia convert sebenarnya tapi nak tak nak mereka telah uh, convert disebabkan oleh covid-19 okey pada tahun 2020 2021 semua media ni dah mula convert dia dah uh, dah convergence okey convergence kepada uh, 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 digital media niche media and then also they call media morphosis okey kalau biasa kita dengar metamorphosis daripada kepompong menjadi rama-rama but now media morphosis itu berlaku convergence itu berlaku and then kita akan tengok saya saya ada share lepas ni tentang tentang uh, convergence juga okey ini case study oh, sebab uh, there is a difference uh, concept uh, ataupun kefahaman tentang uh, new media tentang media itu sendiri bagi generasi X Baby Boomers, Y, Z, Alpha. Okay, case study. Um, case study ni, uh, saya buat survey uh, menggunakan um, uh, Google Forms. Um, di post student saya, uh, pada umur 20 hingga 25 tahun, uh, ada daripada Malaysia, ada daripada Indonesia, ada daripada China, ada daripada Bangladesh. Bangladesh. Okay, international student, okay umur 20 hingga 25 tahun and then laki dan perempuan uh, saya, saya 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 tunjuk dulu uh, di punya kisah ini uh, saya buat um, eksperimen saya tunjuk satu video daripada Samsung okey uh, saya nak 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 siarkan ni nanti sebab saya punya komputer ni nanti dia hang kalau saya buka YouTube okey nanti saya boleh share nanti um, what is TV dia dia punya dia punya tagline what is tv dia akan tonton and then lepas tu ada satu soalan saya tanya what is your tv itu saja and then apa result dia okay. the concept of tv for generation z gen z okay finally found that tv is their mobile phone 
bukan lagi TV di mana just small yeah. smart TV wide screen in our home. <laughs> just phone is there, mobile phone is there, TV. Second, the channel are social media or their apps. The channel is the their uh, real TikTok itu dia channel. Okay, bukan lagi the, the real TV macam apa kita tonton. And then the concept of TV can consist all type of app and any form of which media, which is apa di, apa yang mereka kata. My TV is for socialization, social socializing. Pertama, my TV is freestyle apa saja my TV. My TV is medium to show myself. Okay, either this concept. Yeah. My TV is my place to spend time for myself. Okay, and my TV entertain me. TV is a window for me to see the world and help me understand the world better. This gateway that open my mind. My TV medium to get information. Okay, searching. And my TV is photo frame. <laughs> Ambil gambar. Itulah gambar mereka dalam dalam phone. Itulah photo frame mereka. That is TV. Why? Kenapa mereka bagi jawapan begini? Ini disebabkan basically there are several type of digital video. This media that are platform with with various purpose. Kalau kita ada Facebook, TikTok, IG dan YouTube, there is a different types of video. There is a video, but the the the, the genre of video is different. Facebook, yeah, Facebook video, Facebook live, real, Facebook real, Facebook story. That is all is video. TikTok, there is TikTok video, TikTok story, TikTok live, IG, IG video, IG story, IG real, IG live. That is the video, and also for YouTube, YouTube short is like uh, YouTube short like a uh, um, real or uh, TikTok YouTube video and YouTube. Life, okay. That is the TV for them. Also for us, when we uh, uh, bila kita nonton TV, uh, nonton YouTube di TV, ini lah yang kita tonton bosanannya, okay. And how to find the balance, okay? The balance between niche media and mass media, okay. Important of balancing niche and mass media strategies. We have must uh, strategies how to balance niche and mass media okay because of uh, two 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 types of media there is a they, they, they have their own role to, to the society okay their own role impact different impacts okay so we have a strategies to how to balance it. Um, and how to second leveraging niche media to build a more engaged and loyal loyal audience Okay, uh, for TV in Malaysia, still they have their own loyal audience because of the news or the credibility of news. Okay, and also for their, their uh, 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 drama, the drama TV, also they have their own, own uh, uh, audience. Next, the, the last one using mass media to broaden reach and increase brand awareness. Okay, there is the the thing uh, promotion about promotion about marketing about brand awareness about two types of media, but in Malaysia, uh, uh, media prima media prima they 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 control the mass media. Also, they have their own channel in in niche media. Okay, they, are, they have their own portal. They have their own own podcast radio. Uh, they have their own um, uh, digital newspaper. Okay. That's why they they try to to embed that they try to convergence that media, okay. And that is the smart media here, yeah. okay. This all about the convergence of media. Normally, the media can the content is the same, content is the same, but they can convert to the different types of media, okay. From the media convergence, the content is provided in many format. Maybe uh, the, the the format is here, uh, the the zoom zoom session but the recording the zoom session we can uh, publish uh, or uh, publish in in uh, youtube or facebook okay we can share the, uh, the the session of our 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 sharing here in facebook youtube okay 
let's say the, the, the content is the same. But news available attack, audio, video format, print digital can transform to the network convergence. A network receive and transmit many formats to the contents. And then technological convergence. Okay, a device perform many types of function and deliver many formats of content. Smartphone, smart TV, wearable, IoT, okay, it, Internet of Things, eh? IoT, Internet of Things, industrial, Internet of Things, smart uh, city device platform, okay, from the one content, we can distribute to the many types of the media when using the uh, niche media, okay. That is the how uh, the, the smart uh, partnership, the smart media happen. Okay. Conclusion. Okay. Uh, niche media and mass media face a different challenge in today, rapidly changing of media landscape. The because of the tech, uh, media technology, media technology difference and then uh, uh, catalyzed catalyzed by uh, uh, COVID nineteen in twenty twenty. Okay. And niche media are like often struggle with limited resource, including funding, as well challenge attracting, retaining a loyal audience in the face of intent competition. In other hand, mass media also face challenge related to declining audience, increasing fragmentation of media landscape, and pressure of adapt a new digital technology and platform. That is the the the, the challenge that uh, they are face in the in the media industry, okay? So that is important to us as a media landscape continue to evolve because of the media is not, is not um, stagnant. The media technology is not stagnant. Kalau kita buat kajian, saya sebagai professor, seorang cakap di UBM kata, eh? dia kata kalau kita nak buat kajian tentang media ni, suatu yang sukar untuk habis, dia kata. Disebabkan di seperti mana kita buat satu kajian seperti menembak peluru yang sedang bergerak. Media tu seperti peluru yang bergerak, kita nak buat kajian tentang peluru yang bergerak tadi. Okay? Jadi, disukar untuk kita nak settlekan untuk media. Sebab media setiap bergerak, setiap se evolve dan jadi mass media, niche media kena kena bergabung, kena kena sebab masing-masing ada niche masing-masing, masing-masing ada ada kekuatan masing-masing. Jadi, dengan convergence, mereka boleh boleh survive dalam industri. Media. Terima kasih. Saya kembalikan kepada Prof. Eza. Okay. Very interesting. Uh, kita kena pergi terus ke question answer. Uh, okay. Boleh uh, stop sekejap. Oh, okay. And uh, di dalam uh, uh, chat box ada pertanyaan untuk Dr. Maupun Dr. Rosa, tapi tapi nanti boleh baca sendiri. Saya membacakan uh, pertanyaan untuk uh, kedua-dua speaker daripada my email sebab sudah masuk beberapa di antaranya. Saya ambil selalu dua-dua sahaja untuk masuk speaker ya. Okay, right now for to uh, Dr. Budi, uh, interesting sharing uh, Dr. Budi. Uh, thank you very much. I get this. Okay, ini perhatian lima. Uh, right now, uh, all of entertainment use a di digi digitalization. Okay, what tip or advice would you give to create the best digi photo entertainment image? I am right now starting to learn regard DG photo entertainment. Dia tanya perkara tu. Jadi ini soalan menyangkut digital station. Okey, kemudian dua dari Putri. Faktor factor affecting design performance is very interesting. Uh, Usually there is a, a different uh apa ini? different thing between producer and programmer of design perform regard budgeting and cost of production is there we can create
create the best entertainment program with the low cost, right? Okay, ini pula untuk the Dr. Sozal Afri dari Yanti. Dia guna bahasa ini. Hasil satu riset di Indonesia sudah menunjukkan 40% penduduk Indonesia sudah tidak nonton TV. Dan akan terus menurun menurut riset itu. Fenomena yang sama tadi saya lihat juga berlaku di Malaysia dari sharing Menurut Dr. Rozal, apakah TV atau media mainstream akan punah ke depan? Nah, ini saya akan punah pula. Oke, kemudian nomor dua dari Sari. Media sosial, as niche media, sangat banyak sekali. Sehingga orang confused dan tak confirm apakah news yang di-sharing betul or accurate. Bagaimana kehadapan regard public opinion guiding relation abuse of information. Wah, wow. itu dia pertanyaan. Jadi memang abuse of information pula. Okey, Dr. Bukit, uh, time is you untuk jawab dalam 5-6 minit termasuk yang ada di chatbot dari Erwin. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Professor. Uh, if we are talking about the digital uh, photo, yeah, um, artistic, I think uh, it's same with the maybe the other um, the other uh, knowledges or something like the other subject, yeah photo uh, uh, camera or may, maybe audio just maybe if a, a producer or maybe a author or maybe uh, something like um, uh, penulis lagu ya penulis lagu atau pengarang lagu pencipta lagu begitu uh, uh, pastinya semua ini di dalam dunia entertainment ya so I think um, it's similar if we are talking about the photo Uh, our picture we are talking about the tv uh, radio yeah uh, tv means uh, audio visual so i think um, the most important thing is we have to be familiar with the update technology okay so many application so many uh, trend yeah so we have to learn from uh, production from the product yeah from the Uh, picture if you are talking about the, the digital photo yeah so i think um, the keyword is it is about practice practice makes fluency learning by doing so i cannot say that this is the best this is better than this yeah this is better than that oh, i cannot say that yeah so uh, you have to explore your uh, capabilities your knowledges, your insight, your experiences. So you have to discuss with the experts, yeah, uh, anytime, yeah. So you have to watch, you have to see, you have to read, you have to listen, yeah. All of the programs, all of the pictures, all of the whatever it is, I think it can enrich your capabilities, your skill. So once again, I think it's uh, quite uh, complicated if I have to define uh, this is the best thing and that is that is not good. Yeah, I think it's quite complicated. So um, my suggestion is if we are talking about the artistic, yeah, the digital photo uh, artistic, I think you have to know about the trend you have to uh, compare with uh, the all of the photo yeah uh, maybe from the popular magazine maybe from the popular media online yeah, online media so i think it's up to you uh, so you have to enrich your capabilities yeah because once again if we are talking about art we are not talking about one plus one equivalent with two. One plus one 
become equivalent with three, four, five, six, seven. I think it depends on the point of view. Okay, it depends on the market segment. It depends on your people. It depends on the culture. It depends on many things. Okay, and the second uh, uh, question is, it's about the programmer and uh, producer. Okay, producer, uh, the person who direct, yeah, uh, technically, the production. Okay, so the producer has to make uh, something like concept idea yeah um uh, uh, artist yeah maybe yeah if there is a popular artist you want to uh uh make them get involved in your production so i think it's possible so you have to divine according to uh crew yeah so i think uh the crew is uh similar with family so I think maybe if I'm a producer, so I want to produce uh, some interesting program. So I choose uh, which one become uh, my operator, which one become my cameraman, which one become, because maybe I don't like the style of uh, something like the working style of this one, yeah? Uh, for example, this cameraman. So I think I choose the, maybe that one, yeah? Uh, because I think we have to choose uh, the best for our team. It's it's uh, crucial because we have to make a solid team, yeah? Means uh, it's like a family. So many times I have to have a same frequency. For example, if uh, I produce some uh, interesting TV program, I think it's very impossible in the urgent time. So I have to give instruction. It's impossible. So I must have a team with same frequency. Means they know what I mean. I know what they mean. We can contact, you know, something like telepathy. So if there will uh, be a uh, urgent situation so they make a decision fast but i like their decision means same frequency okay so you have to choose the solid team it's like a family uh, maybe it's not uh, about the personal uh, what personal uh, business yeah there is no personal business at all it's about uh, professional. Uh, uh, something like, uh, sorry, Prof. Uh, I really love your daughter, yeah. Uh, but it doesn't mean that love, uh, love, love, love story. No, but uh, she is very, uh, you know, uh, uh, attractive. Uh, she, uh, she is, uh, you know, uh, smart. She, she always do something fast, yeah. She has uh, innovative uh, strategies and uh, many things. So uh, I choose her to to be my uh, my first person, yeah, in my uh, uh, bureau. Uh, it's 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 just a simple uh, it's just a simple uh, example. So I think for solid team uh, as a producer, so you have to think all of the uh, uh, production technically, yeah. Uh, but the programmer is different, okay? Programmer is uh, something like, um, if you know that, okay, after this, so there is another program. After another program, so uh, another program. So I think uh, one uh, program uh, by program, okay? So you have to set it up, yeah? As a program, daily program, something like that. I think it's programmer, okay? So programmer, so you have to set it up, uh, for, for example, 12 uh, hours. Yeah, so maybe you have to input so many programs. So you have to uh, think that, okay, I think uh, I have to place it uh, for the first program and the second program. Why? Because I think uh, uh, there is a relation with the time. So uh, Dr. Rosal Lafri uh, said that, oh, the prime time, uh, morning and uh, afternoon, 
So I think the prime time, okay, what is the suitable programs uh, the programmer will put a specific program for the afternoon program or the morning program maybe. Now it's programmer job, okay? So uh, programmer and the uh, producer, of course, uh, all of the, uh, something like all of the, uh, part of the uh, company, um, uh, you know, hand to hand, yeah, uh, uh, support each other to to make a, to make a, a great collaboration. Okay, between producer, programmer, executive producer, and uh, whoever they are. So I think uh, we as a team, yeah, uh, in one company hand to hand support each other to have uh, good programs to build a good image to have a great uh, something like attention yeah because uh, we have to uh, make uh, all of our programs viral okay uh, because if we produce something uh, important uh, according to our our opinion yeah okay i think it's good very good it's important but there is no you know there is no audience <laughs> so maybe uh, or maybe uh, it's not popular or maybe uh, the rating is low you know uh, it's not good i think it's useless okay so uh, once again programmer producer executive producer manage uh, manager uh, director uh, all of us uh, hand to hand support each other to uh, to uh, complete yeah to complete uh, the the blank spot if maybe uh, uh, I'm as a producer have a weakness for example yeah uh, so maybe uh, the the other part uh, the other person has to you know uh, cover it have to back me up yeah so we have to once again uh, we are as a team. We have to support each other hand in hand, uh, uh, but we have to choose the best thing for our uh, production. Okay, something like uh, I'm a producer, so I have to choose. Uh, okay, this is the best cameraman for my program. This is the audio man for my program. This is the lighting man for my program. This is the best operator for my program. So I have to choose because I think if I cannot work with my theme, I think it's very, very, you know, a uh, uh, big problem. It make uh, a big problem for our production. Okay, that's all. Thank you, Prof. You answer include uh, regarding Erwin uh, question two in Sabo. Erwin? Uh, yes. In there is the question for you and for uh, Rosal. This is include uh, for you answer. But... There is in uh, box, there is the question for you and Dr. Rosal P2. There is your uh, answer is include about this question. In chat box, you can look the question in chat box right now. From uh, uh, sorry, uh, I cannot hear your voice clearly, okay. Prof. Okay, but this is include uh, about your answer. Uh, okay. Yes, uh, as I as I know that uh, I think it's crucial for me to answer uh, according to the artistic uh, digital photo and yeah. uh, producer and programmer. Okay, right. Okay, thank yeah. you. And then uh, the second speaker uh, answer right now. Silakan end dalam dua pertanyaan. Okay, terima kasih, kasih Prof. Syarul Reza. Menarik juga daripada Bapak Buki tentang jawapan tadi. Okay. Uh, ada dua soalan tentang uh, saya tadi. Pertama tentang uh, adakah TV boleh survive? Yang pertama. Yang kedua adalah tentang konten, uh, tentang kandungan, kandungan media digital ataupun niche media di sendiri. So soalan pertama. Uh, kalau di Indonesia, 40% decrease uh, audience of TV. Okay. Hmm. Sama juga di Malaysia. And then, not just in Malaysia, I'm also uh, asked to my student from China, also from Bangladesh. 
the same uh, phenomenon happen the decrease of the uh, uh, audience of the uh, mass media okey uh, kalau soalan ni sama bila kali terakhir kamu menonton TV mungkin 5 tahun ataupun 10 tahun yang lepas Ha, sama juga, bila kali terakhir kamu baca uh, magazine ataupun surat khabar ataupun newspaper, sama sah. Jawapan yang sama. So bukan hanya di Indonesia, Malaysia pun sama berlaku. And then dia tetap akan decrease slowly, okay? Tapi dia, 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 dia tidak akan dia tidak akan hilang sebenarnya. Ini keram kerana uh, di, uh, mass media there is a prominent media pertama disebabkan oleh credibility. Yeah, they have, they have have their own credibility on content. Maybe uh, untuk kita access through smartphone, uh, dia ada dia ada distraction dengan uh, uh, niche media yang lain. Tetapi dari segi content, credibility itu tinggi. Okay? Terutama ketika, katalah ada pemilu, ada pilihan raya, mass media, surat kabar orang tengok, TV, government TV kita tengok. Sebab, dia punya credibility, credibility of uh, content of TV. Jadi dia akan satu masa dia akan stagnan sahaja. Dia tidak naik dan dia tidak, tidak akan decrease lagi dia punya dia punya apa, dia punya uh, penontonan dia. Itu yang pertama. Yang kedua, saya nampak daripada uh, uh, ibu ibu Erwin ya, bapa Erwin, bapa Erwin tanya tentang tentang content tadi, how to stimulate content. Um, Uh, strengthen content value character. Okey, tentang content ni, ini adalah satu 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 uh, satu discussion yang menarik untuk kita bincang lagi tentang content dalam uh, new media niche media ni. Disebabkan oleh apa-apa pun sekarang ni even influencer dia akan cipta content. Apa lagi content nak buat? Apa content nak buat? Okey. Tapi content dalam uh, niche media dia uh, diragui dari segi credibility. Okey daripada dia punya uh, uh, ketulinan ataupun konten uh, yang yang betul yang baik okey um, dan dan konten yang tak bagus tu banyak sebenarnya tapi dalam masa sama juga dia diseimbangkan dengan konten-konten yang baik okey jadi uh, saya setuju dengan cadangan untuk kita memperbanyakkan konten itu perkara pertama tetapi untuk memperbanyakkan konten semua orang boleh buat konten tapi kena ada plan and strategy okey plan and strategy bukannya setiap hari kita fikir apa yang kita nak kita nak siapkan ataupun nak nak upload dalam kita punya social media bukan bukan begitu kita kena tahu apa konten yang kita nak upload yang yang trending ketika itu kita kena follow the wave follow the wave apa trending ketika itu? baru dia boleh pergi pada viral kalau kita sebab um, perbezaan penonton antara TV dan uh, antara mass media and niche media mass media Penonton dia dia one way dia hanya menerima sahaja dia passive passive audience passive audience walaupun kita boleh feedback tapi dia dia reply tu dia dia reciprocal tu lambat berbanding dengan dengan niche media niche media audience dia adalah active audience dia real time ketika itu juga dia akan komen dia akan bagi duit dia akan bagi share semua real time so uh, audience untuk untuk niche media social media ni kita kena kita kena provide content yang mereka boleh ambil something, ambil tips disebabkan oleh itu video-video uh, uh, atau konten-konten yang melibatkan motivation, agama, uh, kesihatan, uh, lifestyle ada ada likes ataupun ada viewer yang tinggi disebabkan oleh audience boleh dapat something daripada daripada konten tersebut bukan hanya dia konten uh, dalam new, new, new media uh, niche media dia berdasarkan kepada apa yang orang nak bukan apa yang pro, produce nak kita produce apa yang kita rasa kita nak produce itu berbeza okey so produce untuk niche media based on apa yang trending dan apa yang audience nak okey uh, ada tiga perkara yang biasa yang yang okey yang yang kalau kita produce dia akan dapat sambutan pertama ialah tentang tentang kesihatan, ha, tentang kesihatan, tentang tips-tips untuk untuk uh, ekonomi kewangan, okay, tentang tentang uh, perniagaan, untuk kesejahteraan kesejahteraan hidup, 
tentang kebahagiaan itu adalah konten-konten yang orang suka sentiasa orang orang nak nak tahu itu konten-konten yang untuk uh, uh, niche media tapi nama sama dia ada yang trending yang tu kita kena follow how to develop content yang follow the wave okey jangan against the wave nah, itu untuk dalam fenomena niche media berbeza dengan mass media yang mana kita hanya terima sahaja terima sahaja dan kita passive sahaja okey jadi perlukan plan dan strategi dia kena ada team untuk buat content kena team kena ada kena ada banyak uh, menonton orang lain dulu and then kena tahu uh, sebabkan untuk produce kena ada banyak tahu juga dengan uh, apps apps yang lain untuk kita dapatkan konten yang berkualiti tak semestinya perlu gunakan kamera yang mahal ataupun tak perlu menggunakan smartphone yang mahal tetapi dengan minimum requirement technologies dia dah boleh require pada uh, niche media punya content. Itu jawapan saya. Terima kasih. Thank you Mas Erwin. Boleh 1 2 minit kalau mau bicara secara live uh, atau mau nampakkan sesi nanti saya mengundang Niza Salin kalau mau juga <laughs> sebelum close. Silakan Mas Erwin mau bicara apa? Atau tadi ada pertanyaan Puan Niza Said ini saya punya saya punya uh, rakan rakan satu satu fakulti kalau Mas, boleh ikut pesarah komunikasi juga sekarang uh, media kalau, kalau mau ikut komen sedikit buat tiga minit lagi <laughs> puan Nisa Mas Erwin ada mau cakap secara langsung satu dua tiga minit silakan di unmute uh, ini Prof his his mic doesn't work oh Okey. Tadi sudah no tulis. Ya, ya. Ya tak. Ya tadi. Okey, Mas Erwin, thank you for your good question for the uh, speaker. Okey, uh, uh, kita akan pergi ke closing remark right now. Uh, what do you want to highlight uh, for the audience before we go to the last?